Hi there. My name is Mark McPherson. I'm at, from San Antonio at the Advanced Real Estate Law Course 2012. Last year, I was course director of this course, and Bob Sweeney came up to me and proposed a topic for this year's course, and he also told me the story of how he came to be at last year's course, which is I thought was pretty funny. So I've asked Bob to share that story with us real quick, and then we'll uh, talk a little bit about uh, what he's going to talk about this year. So Bob, remember last year? how it was you came to this seminar for the first time. I, I, thank you, Mark. <laughs> I appreciate it. I remember, yeah, last year we were uh, changing horses at the Parks and Wildlife Department, and, it, and it, the real estate portfolio uh, came to me. And, uh, and so they, they said, well, get thee to San Antonio and be part of that seminar, be, participate in it, and, and that's how I came to be there. Uh, there may be a more humorous uh, take on it, but that's the best I can do. Well, but <coughs> you drew the short straw. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you know, I, I must say that that uh, that to me was was uh, uh, maybe a little disingenuous because I really think the the real estate function is so important in our agency. Uh, we have a million and a half acres of, of property and, and all kinds of issues that, that arise, and and I'm really happy to be doing it. Uh, and the idea, uh, uh, the the opportunity to be part of of this group of people, I look around and I see incredible expertise is really great. So that's a. If I if I said short straw, I guess what I meant. I didn't I didn't mean that to complete straw. Oh no, I, under, I understand it. But it was just, it was your first time, so you really didn't know what to expect. It was a huge eye opener. I really didn't know there was so much uh, real estate law within real estate law. I was hearing about topics I had no idea uh, even existed. It was a, it was a lot more uh, in depth and complicated than I, than I really really knew. So I guess maybe I should say that after that, I felt yeah, I did draw the, sh the short straw, and I and I got to do a lot more studying in order to get confident in this. And then. And then you also had an idea for the for your topic for this year, and the reason is because you had seen others give poor advice on that issue. And I guess it probably made your life difficult because they would then th that poor advice affected your professional life. So you're exactly right, Mark. I get calls from time to time, frequently from real estate uh, practitioners, sometimes from citizens who are operating under serious misconceptions as to what their ownership of riverfront property means and it's not really a, a water uh, water rights issue or really a water issue at all it really is fundamentally a property issue and I thought it would be helpful that my perspective and, and having those questions sometimes I get several of those in a day uh, to to take that topic on and to sort of uh, at least give the the real estate bar uh, who I could come in contact with some ideas about where to look for correct answers to those uh, those questions and if if they get my phone number too, I guess that's okay. So, well, Bob, Bob convinced me last year that that was uh, an important topic, and so we were very glad to be able to to put, get him on the program, get that topic on the program this year, and we're looking forward to hearing from him uh, this year.